I'm really trying to correct an art historical narrative. Art history is long, you know, and like the, the first black artist exhibition that wasn't in the basement of the YMCA or something like that wasn't until I think like 1940 something here in Baltimore. I mean like that's the first one. There's a lot of catching up to do. Receiving the Driscoll Prize has been significant to me because I'm at a pivotal point in my career. It felt like a magical gift from the art gods. Talking to Mark Bradford and Rashid, like literally I thought I had these limitations, right? I feel limitless now because of their like just courage and ability to just be able to like ask for what they want. The experience of receiving the commission to paint the First Lady was life-changing. There's a mystery around her, but then there's also the Michelle Obama that is generously present with all of us, that inspires us, that we can see ourselves in, that um, it's just very relatable. And because of that, she's become, in my opinion, a universal archetype. And her image offers young women and young men like a, a new way of seeing themselves and in my portraits, I also create those kinds of mirrors so that when people come into spaces like that, their expectations of themselves might be changed, but then the expectations of people who have uh, an idea of what they should see in the museum could be shifted as well. When I choose my subjects, I'm looking for something that I really don't have words for, but when I see it, I know that they're exactly the person. I say, hi, my name is Amy. I'm an artist, but like a real artist. Like I have work in museums, like literally I say it like that. And then I say, here's my website, and I pull up my phone, and I say, can I get your email? Because if you don't mind, I would like to use you as a model. For the most part, they say yes. And I've only had one person say no. I'm looking for the same feeling that I got when I was looking at my grandmother's photograph. You know, it's like frozen in time and black and white and they're so still and their eyes tell you so much. More than any animated selfie in 2018 could because I was really thinking about, again, like about that American realism narrative of just painting black people, not in any kind of state of contention or not necessarily didactic, but just being themselves and creating these images that I want to you know, become universal.